I'm here now in the little town of Custer, where another hardworking crew is laboring to finish a truly monumental job. The monument in question is the Crazy Horse Memorial. It was commissioned in 1939 and has never accepted a dime of federal or state money. When it's done, it'll be the largest stone monument on the planet. The monument is the brainchild of Polish-American sculptor Korczak Julkowski. Today, Korczak is buried beneath his life's work, literally. And I'm here to get a sense of what it takes to carve a massive face out of solid granite. Well, welcome to our home. Today, Korczak's daughter, Monique, oversees the work as CEO, a job she's held since 2014. What is the most important example you can show your family and the people who work here? Show up every day. <laughs> Right. And be grateful for the people that you get to work with. You got a good day planned for you? Yeah. We'll get you inside and harness up. Great. Thanks again, Monique. Wow. Look at a good grief. The first few years of the project, Korchak worked alone. Then he and his wife, Ruth, had 10 kids to help shoulder the burden. There's 700 steps here. These guys make nine trips a day, or about three miles up and down. They have it relatively easy, though. Korchak made the original stairs, and he made more daily trips, lugging explosives and tools by himself to lay the groundwork for what you see today. I don't need to take a break. I'm just pausing to enjoy the view. It's not like I need to rest. It's just so, you know, gorgeous. This monument really is huge. Crazy Horse's eyebrows measure eight feet in height. His eyelids span 18 feet and his head is 87 feet tall. In comparison, the faces on Mount Rushmore only reach Crazy Horse's eyebrows. The finished monument will be over 100 feet taller than Egypt's Great Pyramid. In the category of stupidly obvious questions, this is granite, right? Yes. Correct. Solid. There's, there's other stuff in it. Yeah, there's other pockets of different minerals. Uh-huh. It's free. See? See? I'm doing something. <laughs> this is not the memory the average tourist wants to take home with them from Crazy Horse. Widowmaker. Have you repelled much then, Mike? I've been repelling all my life. Just not off the side of just Crazy Horse? Just not off horses. the side of the mountains. No, I just mean like repulsive. I think we're good to repel down. Yeah? Can we do a big push and go all? Go for it. Mission Impossible? Yeah. yeah. Push with your feet and pull your handle at the yeah. same time. I'd feel better without that iron bar up my ass, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I know. You made it look easy. <laughs> Is there anything I can do to assist in whatever's about to happen? Yeah, you're going to you work. Do, you're going to do all sorts of assisting. Thanks to modern technology, carving a mountain is a lot easier today than it was 70 years ago. And by a lot easier, I mean not easy at all. How deep is hole 317 supposed to be? 5.9 foot. 5.9 feet? Yeah, feet, yep. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to need a bigger bit. Yeah, we, we'll get one. All a right. bigger bit, a bigger drill, and everything. You, you might need a bigger helper, too. <laughs> you know, when they say it's not the size of the bit, they're lying. <laughs> it's the size of the bit. <laughs> if you're just joining us, I've got the tip in the hole 317. <laughs> Pretty soon, I'm gonna get the whole shaft in there. And before you know it, this monument's gonna be done. Okay, up a little bit. Line your line up. Stuff as hard as rock. <laughs> and what's gonna go in this hole? We'll feed uh, the diamond cable through the hole. And you'll see that later, too. We'll do a saw cut with you. When you're going, you kind of got to hold that position a little better. Yeah. I'm, I'm pulling going. you up or pulling you around, you got to really pay attention to your position. You we're close. We're at yeah, point it's not bad, eight but five. We're, we're a little low right now. Because, but, because the point is, when this goes in 5.9 feet, it needs to line up perfectly with this hole. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And the vertical hole. And the vertical hole yeah. up here. Yeah. Because yeah. the, the wire is going to basically go through all of them. Yeah. yeah. And if they're not lined up very well, it makes stringing that wire through a lot harder. So. Yeah, of course. You're, yeah. you're basically threading a, a, a rock needle with a steel wire. <laughs> you got it, yeah. We got to start by getting this cable 
through that hole and out the other hole that's already pre been drilled down there. So this cable is basically your blade. Yeah. It is. It is. These these are, these have uh, diamonds embedded. Well, um, cubic zirconium, I'm sure. Of course, sure. <laughs> Very tasteful. <laughs> yeah. For her. For her. For him. Her. <laughs> this is our drill rod. Mm -hmm. We put the bit on it. Okay, I've got a magnet on here on this end. Mm -hmm. Smokey's got a string with a magnet on the end of it. Ingenious. Just super simple. But this is how this is effective. Right? So he's gonna drop he, that cable in the hole with the magnet, and yeah. you're gonna, I'm gonna push that through that hole. Yep. And then we're gonna pull it out. Oh, this is. It's a, it, I, I, I can see it in my mind's eye. It's one of the few <laughs> things I can actually visualize. This technology is borrowed from the stone quarry industry. It operates on the same principle as a survival saw that you might use to cut a tree branch. It's a bit more advanced than the sledgehammer and steel drill of Korchak's day. Aha. Uh -huh. Bam, just Look like that. that. So 13 pulleys are all gonna start turning at the same time. And they're gonna apply more and more. I guess you're gonna apply more pressure as it goes, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, gonna, do, it's gonna pull up on it constant. How do you regulate that? I got this fancy remote here. You got a remote control? Yes, sir. And where are you gonna be operating that from? Up there someplace? Yeah, you can come up here and operate it out of a whip zone. We call it a whip zone, cable breaks, Yeah. and it's pulling in your direction. Comes over, smacks you, not a good day, no, right? No, I'm in the whip zone here. Yep. You want your tension to be somewhere around 80 to 90. Is that this number here? Yeah. But with the speed you're going, higher your speed, higher your tension. A lot of what you're looking for, you know, Some slack something there. starts whipping around. Yeah. Sometimes you can ramp up the speed, or you just got to deal with running it slow. What can't I see that's happening? Cutting. We're going to use this hydraulic splitter over here uh -huh. to uh, break this rock up. A hydraulic splitter was only a matter of time until somebody handed me a hydraulic splitter. So the way this is going to work, this is going to go in, and these things are going to separate? Yep. Yeah, oh, correct. Wow. Yeah, there's a wedge in the middle there that'll, that'll push those two outer pieces out. Yeah. And we'll just shake it and see. OK, yep, it's, it's tightening it up right now. Oh, I thought it was going to go like a jackhammer. No, no, no. Just going to expand. Yeah, yeah, it just expands. Oh, really this fun. is awesome. Oh, man, I literally Jake. thought this was going to be Well, that was that drill there. We didn't get, we didn't yeah, get yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, sorry I missed that one. <laughs> get your bar in there wherever you can. Jam it in there. Pry it away. There it is. OK, well, I'd say that's probably a 1 64th of it. And we'll just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Crap. That was my favorite hard hat. Happens all the time, man. Yeah. I'm absolutely falling apart one safety piece of PPE at a time. You know, it might look like I'm throwing rocks off a mountain, but I'm actually <laughs> braiding a horse's mane. <laughs> there you go. Something like that, right? See, I'm Perfect. trying to put a spin on it. Perfect. <laughs> I'm actually aiming for my helmet. Don't stop it. Don't get under there. There you go. Buried the helmet. Smokey. Yes, sir. Thanks, man. Thank you. Super satisfying. Kenny? If I don't have a chance to officially thank you, thank you. Well, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Thanks for telling the story. Hey, man. Do me kidding? Seriously. Anybody who says I'm going to set aside 100 years to go carving piece of history out of the living rock of the Black Hills. Yeah. Deserves attention. Does Monique still like me? She loves you. Good. She thinks she's going to probably propose. You know, I, I just, I wouldn't say no. I mean, it depends what she proposes, obviously. And here we are at the end of a rock hard episode. All in all, pretty great day. You find yourself in South Dakota or anywhere close. You come here to Crazy Horse. You'll love it. You say hi to Monique. She's pretty sweet. She'll let you know if she likes you, or if she doesn't. <laughs>